Well, I don't know about finding all of them, Taylor. You did a pretty good job this morning of finding them. I've just come to the same places and, well, gotten lucky. So we eventually found where the sticks are lying. They were, as you can see, very camouflaged in this long grass. So I was kind of just doing loops around from the western side of twin dams where the elephants chase them and eventually found them all curled up in the long grass and you can see if you were anywhere near a road and you drove past the other there is not a chance that you would ever see these lines that is the coloration of the grass and the color of them and when they're lying flat you don't see anything now there are three adult females here and yet you do not see even one of them you can just see the cubs that are out and about and they are kind of lying all in a big ball at this stage and as soon as it gets a bit cooler I would imagine they will start waking up and hopefully we'll go back down towards twin dams for a little drink it's been a hot day and generally with lions you'll find that that's what happens is when they get quite warm they'll decide to start moving and getting back down towards where there's a bit of water to rehydrate there's a little one busy catching flies hey little one now I believe a lot of you are excited to see the sticks. It is very exciting that they've been coming on to Juma. And I remember when I used to work at Chitwa that the sticks was a fairly regular occurrence on Juma. They used to cross a lot at Twin Dams, Baboon Pan. They used to go all the way along the southern side. And I remember they used to even go right up towards Gauri Dam. We often used to hear of them up that way, particularly when the Matimbas came in. So it's been a surprise that they haven't actually spent much time on Juma and it's probably because of these little guys they've all been kind of born over the last few months and much like the Nkumas last year spent such a large portion of their time on Juma not moving too much it's the same with the sticks they were around the south of us and they then have now moved north now that the cubs are getting bigger now Angela you say it's good to see that the cubs are getting bigger I know it is very good and they're looking actually healthy I haven't seen the sticks cubs in quite a while but they're all looking pretty good I mean they're a little bit on this probably on the skinny side but that's given they're getting to that age where they do look a little bit skinny from time to time but they're still as cute as ever look at those little eyes hello you the last time I saw you you were a tiny little baby I can't believe how much they've grown. They're probably three times the size of the last time I saw them. And the last time I saw them was actually before the TV shows in for Mother's Day. So that would have been end of April, beginning of May was the last time I actually saw these sticks. And so these little cubs are no longer so little. They are actually getting much bigger and they are looking fantastic, actually. I'm very surprised. I know somebody told me the other day that they were saying that this has got signs of mange and they don't have it too bad if I compare what the other sticks cubs looked like last year when their manes really hit this pride hard they don't look too bad at all there's a few little patches here and there but nothing major nothing like last year and it's just very similar to what some of the Nkuma cubs look like and these guys will be absolutely fine and once we get back into the rainy periods in the summer so that mite will start to die off a bit more and these guys are much older than the Styx Cubs that got it last year and so I would imagine they will be just fine and will be able to survive. But you bunch are a cutie. Look at them, they're all grooming themselves and I hope this is going to be a sign that they're going to start waking up and maybe move down towards the open. So Deborah, you're asking how many Cubs the Styx have and I'm actually, so I was thinking about it this morning and I know for sure that they have two older ones and four younger ones and then there was reports that there was a new set of cubs which I have not seen and I haven't heard anything more about them in the last few weeks it was probably about a month ago that there was a report that there was more cubs and there was new cubs seen but to be honest I haven't seen them and I really have no idea um, where they could be or if they are still alive so I'm not sure as far as I know there are six but it could be that there might be more new ones that have arrived in recent times and have been born I also don't know how many of the females are here um, currently I'm not sure this morning how many Taylor saw but there should be three adult females in total within the sticks grouping now I believe Taylor McCurdy has found something that is probably one of my favorite things to see just from an entertainment point of view so let's quickly go across to her before they get out of the water and stop with the fun.